All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. All right, so here he is. He's got a gold medal at home, two-time unified heavyweight boxing champion, and now, with no shortage of fanfare, Anthony Joshua is crossing over into the UFC. He's bringing all those boxing skills with him. But what has he done to shore up some of the ground weaknesses that figure to be there? A lot of those questions are going to be answered here tonight. But the magnitude of this moment does not figure to be too big for Anthony Joshua. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, the cooler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony Joshua. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon today. Like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Josh. Slips. Unable to connect with the right. Nice punch there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
how good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter. <laughs> nice one-two there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Straight right hand, no good. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! Huge block there. And under three minutes now to go on the round. He loaded up again right here, too. Nice. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. A swing and a miss by Joshua. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Joshua. Big punch land. Ooh. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Beautiful punch. Lunges forward with a left there. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a home for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh! And now he lands a combination! Oh, straight right. Oh, big punch land. Oh, God. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with a left hook there. Joshua's strike attempt there is blocked. Another straight left. 
All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed him. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Ooh, nice right hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Joshua's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Man, look at him load up on that right. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just missing on the uppercut there. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike. Right punches there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, strong punch there by AJ. Try to establish that jab. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The shin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Great punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Straight right. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Straight punch lands. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Yeah, left hook found its target. because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Just out of range with that right hand. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot 
to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Ooh. And oh! Punch is blocked. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Just missed with that right hand. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Strong defense there to block the shot. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Good punch, Lance. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice punch, man, on the top. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Both fighters throwing heat now. He blocks the punch. Let's get some offense. Big punch man. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks the shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch land. Got a clip with the right hand. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counting as we go forward. Nice punch there by Joshua. That straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Just misses there with the left. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just misses with the jab. What a punch. Oh, he lands the 
Superman punch. How about it? And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you got to think at some point the doctor's going to get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is going to be stopped. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Effective punch there by Anthony Oh! Huge right hand! News hurt. Oh! Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice punch there by Anthony Joshua. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Going to the body now with that hook, well placed there by Anthony Joshua. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow. Oh, straight right. That strike blocked by AJ. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> he's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Get right here. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Take that finish down. Combinations here. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. And they separate. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh! Out of range with that one. Oh, that's a sharp hook there. I jump. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice straight punch. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, big left hook there. 
Hook attempt now blocked though by AJ. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, big shot lands. 30 seconds to go now. Right on the button. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, big left. Whoa! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. What a round. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent look very bad. Well, oh! Content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Joshua gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Good. Oh! He's out! Wow! Wow! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by the count, the cooler. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.